some people, they don't get it. Like, what's it going to take for you to understand? What's it going to take for you to realize that you're going to die? Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this pretty often that there was this period of time, like a few years, where he hung out with people that were like 70, 75, 80, 85 years old, just on purpose, sought after old people. He just became infatuated with that. He became yeah. in, infatuated by, by figuring out what it was that made these people successful, what made them not successful, and what he ultimately got out of that whole experience is just that regret is just, just terrifying. If you think the cost of success is high, wait till you get the bill of failure. And that's is about as real as it gets. And that is called regret. And regret I don't know about you, but it's terrifying. Um, if you've ever seen someone that's had a lot of uh, regret in their life, someone that um, is towards the end of their days and doesn't have much time left, um, if you've ever seen that look of regret in their eyes, uh, of the, all the things that they um, thought that they could have done, should have done, would have done. I heard one time that the definition of hell is one day leaving this earth and meeting face to face with the person that is you that lived up to their full potential. How many of these people are lying in these graves right now with ideas still in their head, with these thoughts that they had of doing these things that just never got around to it, that got busy with the everyday routine of life, that got busy with all of the stuff that we occupy all of our time with, and how many ended up lying here and never ever got to live with purpose. What good is running wide open, running myself ragged and in all of this if I look up at the end and I've got no one else around me. And so now when I talk about legacy, and now when I talk about providing value, like I want to look at it from a, from, a, from a real place. What I knew from my own personal experience, those first two years when I went from being absolutely broke to 300 in income to close to 450, that I was on a path where I would have burnt everything else around me to the ground. They talk about success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Tony Robbins said that. And in my own life, I saw that happening. I was having this success, but it was at the detriment of my family. I was having this success, but it was at the detriment of my health. I was working 16, 18, sometimes 20 hours a day. See, I refuse, refuse to have my legacy that I leave behind be the little numbers to the side of a picture, the little numbers to the side of a video on Facebook, on Instagram. The legacy that I leave behind will be in the people, will be in the families, and will be in the ripple effect through the communities of those I'm able to impact.